So I'm back again trying to figure out my uh, dimensional accuracy issues with the 100 millimeter test prints that I did at each four corners. Uh, I had somebody comment and say that uh, I needed to, to do a uh, skew correction on Clipper, which I did that, and uh, it really made no difference at all uh, in my uh, in this issue that I'm having where this right side is printing shorter than the left. Um, again, you can see it's 99.5, 99.43. This is the short side, 99.8 and 99.82. This is the normal side. And one thing I noticed, and this might be the problem. Again, I'm not a, I'm not all familiar with Core XY, but uh, as I was messing with the printer, I noticed that. If you if you can see here the way this cable the belt is routed you can see how much gap is in between the belt here so that looks normal but if you come here it's a much bigger gap and I actually measured this with my caliper this gap is about seven millimeters and I think here was I think three millimeters so I, I think what might be happening again the right side is the side that's printing the shorter uh, dimension. I think what's happening here is as the as the print head moves to the right, I think this belt tension is changing because it's bringing these belts closer together. So as it gets to the right side, I think it's adjusting or uh, changing the tension of the belt. And I think that's what might be causing that, that issue. Uh, I notice also on this right hand side, I'm sorry, on the left side of the gantry, uh, you can see the gap is pretty small, or it's it's a normal size uh, for the belt. But as you move to the back, it widens, and the right side looks normal. It's it's uh, equal from this side all the way to the back um, on that corner. But as this gantry moves back, it starts to close the gap of the belt. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that's that's changing the tension of the of the uh, of the gantry as it moves to one side. And if it changes the tension, I think that might change the uh, might affect the accuracy. So uh, I appreciate those that have commented so far and given me some advice on things to check. Uh, now that I see this issue. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think this is a big uh, issue that could cause this problem? I tried to disassemble uh, the idler here, but it wasn't moving. So I don't want to do a complete teardown if I don't have to. But it looks like this issue uh, might be a big one. So yeah, a big gap there. A little gap here. And you can even see how crooked the belt is. And as it moves closer, it closes that gap. Which again, I think is tightening the belt. Anyways, just wanted to tune in and give that update. Thanks guys.